everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Today's recipe, I'm going to show you how to make a very classic rajma masala, uh, wherein I'm going to be cooking the rajma in a single pot in the fresh cooker. One of my favorite recipes at home and my children absolutely love. Rajma is high in protein and makes a great dish to be having along with some hot steamed rice or even a tawa pagata. So without wasting any time, let me just dive right in and show you how to make a rajma masala in a single pot in a fresh cooker. So now to begin making the rajma in the pressure cooker, I'm just going to go ahead and add in some oil into my cooker and then I'm going to add in some cumin seeds. We'll add in the onions. Onions are optional, you can do without them, but onions also bring in a nice taste. And to this, some chopped ginger. Okay, and I'm going to saute the onion and ginger until they become uh, soft. Um, this will take about less than a minute. Or you don't have to wait for the onions to caramelize. So notice that the onions have changed its color. At this stage, I'm just gonna go ahead and add in the tomatoes and all the other remaining ingredients. I'm gonna add in the bay leaves. As you know, I love adding whole spices and some cinnamon stick as well. And to this, we'll add in the masalas. But only two types of masalas I'll be adding, which is the garam masala and then the cumin powder, which brings in a lot of taste to the dish and a pinch of turmeric which is haldi, okay, and some salt to taste and I'm going to um, saute the tomatoes until it becomes nice and soft, okay. So I'm just going to saute it, but this will take about uh, a minute for the tomatoes to soften and after that we'll add in the soaked rajma. So the tomatoes have softened now and um, at this stage I'm going, to, I'm going to be adding the soaked rajma. So this is not Kashmiri rajma, this is a regular rajma. You can use Kashmiri as well, but I like the regular red large size rajma because it brings in a very different taste. Uh, soaked it for about eight hours or overnight. Important to soak it for as long as you can, okay? Because rajma does take time in cooking and it takes about 40 minutes uh, in the pressure cooker. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and add in the rajma. Well, you can also add red chili uh, powder or even green chilies to your rajma masala if you like it a little bit spicy. But for, for us, the garam masala is just good enough and it brings in a great taste. Okay, so it's important you add uh, more water. So notice that you can still see the rajma grains on the top. You need to ensure that there is at least about two and a half, three inches of water more than the that level. So now I think there's about an inch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little more water so there's enough water for the rajma to cook because we're going to be cooking it for pressure cooking it for about 40 minutes so it'll um, cook it on medium heat and not completely high heat and not low heat as well so that uh, the pressure and the whistles will keep ringing and and, you, and it'll keep getting cooked inside at this stage check the taste of the water give it a good stir and check the taste of the water and see if you need more salt and if you need go ahead and add a little bit of salt you can always add salt later but a little bit of salt right now and then pressure cook it and then after that cover the pressure cooker and cook it for about 40 minutes minimum okay and we'll wait until then Okay, so the pressure is released completely. It was cooking for about uh, 40 minutes in the pressure cooker with lots of whistles and medium heat, and I'm ready to open it. Okay. That looks beautifully cooked, and notice the rajma is perfectly cooked, and I'm gonna show you that um, just now. So there you go. So we have to just take a you know, a ladle of rajma and just press it down and if it's soft, take a bite and see and if it's soft, then it's cooked to perfection. Okay, so if you like at this stage, if you like your rajma to be a little thicker, then you can simmer it a little more and evaporate the water. Or if you would like to it to be more gravy-ish for um, having it along with rice, then have it add a little bit more water and then maybe a little bit of jeera powder, garam masala, just to adjust the spices and some salt and then simmer it uh, until all the masalas get together again. Um, this is perfect consistency for me at this stage. I'm just gonna go ahead and add in lots of chopped coriander leaves because that brings in great taste. Wonderful. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and stir it. And now our rajma masala is done and I love to have it along with some rice, hot steamed rice or even jeera pulao. So I hope you enjoyed watching the recipe of how to make the rajma masala. Really simple to make, you know, one pot pressure cooker. It just takes about 40 minutes of uh, unattended time to actually cook it in the pressure cooker. Otherwise, putting together all the ingredients is really simple, don't you think? 
So do give this recipe a try and when you do, don't forget to share your feedback in the comments below. Uh, what are the different ways that you make Rajma Masala at home? I'd love to hear uh, your versions as well. And when you do try this recipe, do take a picture and share it across all your social channels and tag us, which is Arshana's Kitchen. We'd love to hear from you. So until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.